The ultimate diss track. For the ultimate diss bitches. Oh, I'm ready. Let me tell you a little story. Yo, what's up guys, Prince Charming. We're gonna be checking out the SMG4 movie Mario in the diss track today. This wave of di uh, recent diss tracks I've been seeing, so I thought diss tracks were kind of over with when the whole explosion with the KSI, Logan Paul, wasn't Jake Paul in it too? And then Sidemen, and there's just so much diss tracks being thrown around. I guess it was a pretty exciting summer. And can we say Ricegum um, started diss tracks? I wouldn't say he started it because there have been many other artists that made diss tracks about another person way before Ricegum was even a thing, but I think he made it popular on YouTube. I will give him that credit. So who is Mario dissing? Is he gonna, you know, meet up with uh, Waluigi again because of that whole purple mushroom thing, the T-Pose virus, and he's gonna ha have to lay a diss track on him like he did last time? That was pretty dope. Don't forget to hit me a like, subscribe, and go ahead and comment what diss track do you think was the best on YouTube? Honestly, not going off of flow at all. Like, <laughs> at all. Like, no flows involved. I think Road to Shaw's second diss track on KSI was probably the most hard hitting because he was exposing and that's what I like about it. I'm not talking about the flow or the style. I'm literally just talking about like what they said and the impact. I think he really exposed KSI. Enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and check out the SMG4 movie Mario and the diss track. Hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> They probably didn't have any money to eat. I told you not to play with your food. Why didn't you listen? Oh, he was playing with his food? That's what I did when I was a kid. No, David, no, head ass. All right. Oh, come on. As if you never put spaghetti in your underwear before. Hey, Stinky. What's going on here? That would definitely get you kicked out for sure. They got Bob. Little, bi <laughs> Little Big Bob? <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> Little Big Bob. There's something different about this place. This is bad. So is Lil Big Bob now he a SoundCloud rapper? You gotta go back to the castle and tell everyone. But why? He's not doing anything wrong, right? Let these little rappers get their money and have fun. They're not doing anything wrong. He'll, he'll do something bad, I know it. Luigi, why are you hating on this man Lil Big Bob? He's just trying to hustle. It took four balloons to get you airlifted. <laughs> you must be weak, Mario. Oh, he's making all this money. 15 million. <gasps> Live? Is this thing broken? I haven't seen it go up for a whole minute. 15 million live listeners is pretty, pretty much a lot. I don't care. It's not enough. I want the whole world to know my name. <laughs> the whole world. Oh, now you're body more than you can chew. Hmm, you're right. We need to think bigger. Like your boots? <laughs> Probably should have said that joke. Er, I mean you. I think it's time. Time for my ultimate secret weapon. We Are we going to threaten people? What's wrong with her? But that's not a bad idea. <laughs> You're kind of crazy, little girl. I kind of like that. <laughs> so I'm guessing Lil Big Bob is supposed to represent all these SoundCloud rappers that are up and coming. They're just blowing up from nowhere, having all these millions of fans. My personal take on them is I do see a lot of repetitiveness. I do see like a lot of them are just putting on a fake lifestyle to appeal to the audience. But, you know, let them get their money. Let them have fun. Let them do whatever they want to do. One thing that will stay true is that even if you give money to a Lame, lame person, they will still be lame. You can tell the SoundCloud rappers who are pretty much lame back in high school or wherever they came from and then they got fame, they still act the same way. They still act like they just have to prove something. They just have to be on top. They just have to be the hottest. You gotta buy all these designer clothes. I never got the point of wasting money on that, but they need the clout because they didn't get it back in the day and they're making up for it now. I should be a psychologist. I just laid down some facts. Guys, guys, it's horrible. Luigi's just hating on my man, Little Big Bob. Oh, he's a fan. Oh gosh, <laughs> that's pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. He's he's everywhere. So what? The guy's just famous. Yeah, let him just do him. You don't understand the fame life, Luigi. Yeah, I don't get what's wrong. We should be happy for his success. Thank you. Y'all should be happy about it. Luigi's just a hater. You're not serious. Boop can help me out here. Book is probably listening to it right now. 
Oh no, Boopkins is Boopkins right now. <laughs> oh, Bob's singing a new song live. Stay and check it out, Luigi. <laughs> this man Bob got all the fans in the world or in the Mushroom Kingdom. The ultimate diss track. For the ultimate diss bitches. Oh, I'm ready. Let me tell you a little story about the time before all my sexy glory. I knew a group of people that was just so irritating. <laughs> Bob, you like them. This has the fetish made me want to put him in a dish. Ooh. Then there's Luigi. Now he's just dead weight. Oh, yeah. Then again, he was easy to manipulate. Don't get me started on that annoying squid girl. Okay, now you shouldn't be happy for him. There was this blue hair chick, but I forgot her name. When I think about it, she couldn't shut up about games. Ghost and Bowser. What a waste of space. SMJ4 and unfunny disgrace. Then there was this green turd. Oh yeah. God. His love for anime made me want to die. Boopkins is Ultimate cute. Get off of him. <laughs> yeah. Dignity in life. You're never getting back. Not getting Ultimate back. Distract. Yeah. Ultimate distract. Yeah. You're never gonna recover from this ultimate attack. <laughs> Okay, probably after this, they shouldn't feel as sorry or as happy about Bob's success because he just went on live TV to diss all of them. That's kind of disrespectful, don't you think? You could have just been humble and been just happy about your own success. You probably could have brought some of your friends along with you. Not all of them. Not all of them have a hustler lifestyle like you do, bro. But you don't have to get on live TV and just diss all your whole old friends, bro. You, you're going way to Hollywood too quick. I'm telling you, these people in Hollywood, they don't really care about you. They only care about the clout that you you bring around them you always gotta stick with your day ones because your day ones were there for you before you were famous before all the fake friends fake this fake that so you really have to get with people that truly like you for you because it's nothing worse than having a bunch of yes men around and a bunch of girls who only like you because you have money that's a terrible feeling hey, hey mario what mario who's on tv okay what was that oh yeah <laughs> get the shotgun ready y'all gotta take down bob now and you made her insecure about her voice. I don't understand why he would say that. I thought he was our friend. I thought so too, but I guess Luigi was right about the whole thing. Luigi saw this coming. Yeah, boy, holy crap, my rapping was on fire. Did you hear that? I'm gonna top the charts, bitches. Let's check my sexy stats, shall we? Ooh. Well, bother me and tits. I am pulling in the bitches. All from a diss track? You see, We're she likes him. So much goddamn cash money. She likes him now because he's getting all these views and money. My friends. Totally worth it. <sighs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna be able to start my own scene career at this rate. She's trying to, she's trying to rub that cloud off on her. I'm gonna call around and see if I can get myself a manager. <laughs> Damn. So this is what oh my to gosh. Be famous. You have, yeah. you have no friends. Do you not see the problem with that? Nobody cares about you. <laughs> Luigi, Luigi scheming. Can you check if my phone is okay? <laughs> I come here to talk about Bob. Oh, come on, that diss track was just for fun. He didn't mean any of it. He meant a lot of it. And you heard Bob in the process. Or Bukins. <laughs> Psycho, I need to explain something. Something that Bob did to Bukins. And how he manipulated you and all of us. What did Bob do? Is there a backstory that we're about to see? You do just like Mario. Alright, so here's okay. Mario's plan. Yahoo! We smash him. <laughs> <laughs> I vote for this idea. I second Excuse it too. No. no, you do need to resort to brutal violence. He was talking mess. Why don't we just challenge him to a video game challenge? He says. Dude, Guys, shut up. There has shut to be something up. else we God can do. It. Guys, I've told Psycho everything and we have a plan. Honestly, in my opinion, the only way to get back at Bob is to release a harder diss track than what he did on y'all. There is no playing him in a video game challenge, bro. That's not gonna settle things. He's just gonna say, oh, I may be worse at video games, but y'all can't beat me in rapping. It's gonna be a situation like that. And plus, he was dissing y'all. Don't you feel the need to diss him back, girl? <laughs> this is why he probably dissed you, because he knew you were just gonna sit there and take it. You can't sit there and take it. You gotta uh, take it and fight back. Pause, what? Uh? <laughs> All I'm saying is Bob has to witness the fire that y'all's group can put together. Hopefully, one of you knew, one of you in the group is a rapper. One of you probably has bars. I don't know who it will be, but it has to be one of y'all. And how do we know we can trust her? She helped Bob. That is true. Because I hate being played. And also because 
He Can hurt my. Oh, she cares about boobkins. How hard is it for her to say that? Just claim him as a friend. <laughs> there you go. Oh, boobkins is cute. <laughs> I knew you could do it. So. <laughs> so what's the plan then? Does it involve bats? <laughs> this man thinking Negan. We're gonna teach that psycho a lesson. A lesson he'll never forget. Damn, ultimate diss track hit the top of the charts in five minutes. Let's see other losers who are trying to beat me right now. All right, so I think they, uh, clearly, they beat the dude. They beat this man, Bob, at his own game. And like I said, every single diss track doesn't have to be on a rap beat. You can have your own little style diss track. She did a little rock with her vocals in it. It was her own style, and I think she delivered the message pretty clearly. Bob, you don't go after your day ones, and now you're just surrounded by fake people who are only leeching off of your success. You are surrounded by yes men that don't really care about you. You may not feel it now, but you're going to soon realize. You're going to sit down one day and look at just your life and be, like wow really if I were to go away they truly wouldn't care they'll just care that they don't have their rich friend or successful friend to be around you gotta stay with your day once because they truly and honestly do care about you Bob what you gonna do about that, that Bob that good. <laughs> oh. I bet no one even cared Woo! Oh, and now his no listener God. count is going down my fans. don't take away my dumb fans Oh, Bob, you oh, have the success crap. and fame, and now it's going away. And Psycho is replacing you. <laughs> oh, crap, not that birch. Anything but that birch. Ooh, they threw away the merch. That's how you know you're truly done. Wait, it's not over yet. Hey, yo, it's me, Lil Big Bob. I leave snitches and stitches with my little big knob. I think it's over, Bob. Like bling, bling, I'm a little big blonde. I think it's and over, when Bob. I die, I'll be sure to haunt ya. <laughs> Give it up. <laughs> okay. At least I still have my mansion. Hey, yo, ass, that's my stuff. Are they robbing him? <laughs> oh, they're repossessing him. Your agent was paying for all this, and he has dropped you. Speaking of which, sign here. Did your agent screw you over? You too. You will never take my home. Oh, they took his home. They literally <laughs> took his home. <laughs> God damn it. Now you have nobody, Bob. My fame, my fortune, all gone. At least I still have my friends. Nope, you don't hey, have them no more. Me, Bob. Good old Bob. Mm hmm. Say goodbye, Do you Bob. Remember me. <laughs> 
He truly has nothing left to live for. Aw, Boopkins, he's Boopkins, going. My buddy. Aww. We're still friends, right? Boopkins is so cute. <gasps> no. Even Boopkins disowned him. You've hit rock bottom, Bob. That was it for this video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. So, this man Bob just started from rags to riches back to rags, and the thing that changed is now he no longer has friends. Shouldn't have released a, yeah, shouldn't have released a diss track. Well, there's no point of it. You're already successful. You're already making money, and you just had to go after your friends. There's, like, no point to that at all. And now you're left with none of your fortune, none of your fame, and they forgot all about you. They even threw away the merch. If they throw away the merch, that's how you know it's really over. You know, white people in the Nike, and then when LeBron left Cleveland, and oh my gosh, they were burning and throwing everything. But don't forget to hit me with a like, subscribe, and comment on this video if you want to reply from me. It's truly Prince Charming. My name is Prince Hawk. Come stay charming, my friends.